In today's video, I discover that it still takes longer to maneuver a trailer than it does to drive over 1,000 miles across three states with an urgent delivery of utility pods. All this and more coming right up. Well, have we got a trip for you today? Let's get Red Thunder loaded first. Okay. Drive safe. And let's get us started. I'll come on to the this the sound, which is a Z Mods engine mod that I'm using in a little bit. But uh, let's just check the map first. Gonna make sure I know where I'm going. Okay, California, and I gotta go through Arizona and then through most of New Mexico up to the northern edge. Um, okay, is that New Mexico? I think it is. All right, it's about a thousand miles. There'll be at least one night stop and the weather is pretty terrible. So uh, let's get moving. As I said uh, a few seconds ago, this is the uh, Zmods C3176A sound effect or engine and sound pack. But I've applied my own custom engine mod to it. This is the Caterpillar C10, the 370 horsepower version. So 370 horsepower, 1350 foot pounds of torque. Uh, my uh, truck, Red Thunder, is a Kenworth W900. That's the long wheelbase version, 6x4 drivetrain. Transmission is from the real Eaton Fallout mod. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I'm using an 18 speed today with a 3.7 final drive or 3.7 end. The idea there is plenty of gears to choose from. I'm usually going to be skipping gears. It's going to be tall enough to let me do 65 fairly comfortably, possibly a little bit more. But it's going to have enough gears to get this thing rolling. Cargo today is just over 44,000 pounds, so it's a fairly heavy load for what is uh, not the most powerful engine. And, okay, there's more to life and trucking than just miles per gallon, but uh, I'm hoping to get somewhere over six on this trip. Somewhere six to six and a half to seven would be good given that it's a small engine, but I'm going to be working it fairly hard. I'm manually shifting today, because that's always fun. And uh, I've been practicing a little, but I'm probably going to fluff a gear change here or there. Anyway, we're going to turn left onto the highway. And uh, let's get, to, as we used to say, let's get the wings back. And uh, let's get up to, to speed. So even though this is a fairly low powered engine, it, it's perfectly happy to skip gears. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, there will be occasions when I'm going to... You know what? Let me explain what I mean. So as an 18 speed transmission, this thing has got uh, basically two lows. So low, low, and low, high. And it goes from one low through to eight high. So one low, one high, two low, two high. So as a rule of thumb, um, you're gonna if you change a gear, let's say I'm in one low and I change the gear position to, to second, it's gonna put me into two low. If I flick the the switch and lift off the throttle, it'll put me into two high. So it's mechanically easier to change two gears than it is to try and change three. Anyway, I am by no means an expert in shifting gears in trucks. There are plenty of people that know what they're doing. Oh, here we go, roadworks. Um, oh, it looks like my exit's closed. Dang. So keep it rolling and um, go past and L. Oh. Okay, it wasn't closed. Um, well, it's all right, there's, there's always another way to get there and that's fine. What was I saying? I was boring you all about transmissions. So I'm not an expert in changing gears in a, in a Class 8 or a Semi or a truck. But suffice to say, um, it's usually easier to, to skip gears. Or it is easier to skip one gear than it is to try and skip two. Because it means putting the transmission in neutral, um, range, uh, I think it's range, and then 
modes and putting it to the next gear. That's just a bit of a pain. Let's see if I can get this right. So, on a dark desert highway, cold wind in my hair, warm smell of colitis rising. Yeah, 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 whatever. I gotta stop for the night. Kind of irony of that is, yes, it's a desert highway, and at least it would be if it wasn't raining and has been raining all day. I gotta say, the uh, C10's holding up great. Yes, I'm losing a bit of speed up this hill, but for the most part, I've only occasionally slipped down half a gear to eight low. But yeah, it's uh, it's been great. I know I'm coming up to a stop pretty soon, so uh, the timing is just perfect. Not always so keen on the engine brakes out, but. I, don't, I haven't had to hear it that much on this trip. Okay, I've got to turn left here. I would rather turn right and then turn right back onto the highway, but um, it's the right time to stop. And uh, here we see where um, I don't get my gear selection just right. It makes it a bit of a mess. So I'm left at the top. Yeah, I know, I'm tired. Pretty quiet, nice uh, sunset in the west. Uh, pretty much there. There is fuel here, but uh, I don't need it. It's going to be expensive as well. Okay. So I reckon I'll take about half a tank to get to my destination. Red Thunder normally does about 2,000 miles ish. Uh, I'll take the second lap, I think. Yeah, I, I don't need fuel at this point. So 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and park up and uh, take a break for the night. Uh, I'll be back in a jiffy. Smoke me a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. All right, good morning, and it's stopped raining. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. There we go. Get everything where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead back out and uh, get back on the road. Ah, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Want to try and take things steady uh, first because uh, engine's cold. In fact, everything's going to be cold. That should be a pretty straightforward uh, join back on the freeway. Left or turn, leave the yard, yeah, turn right, then turn left, and I'm on the on ramp. So it's kind of useful just to navigate around the uh, the car park or the parking lot or the truck stop because to my mind that um, gives the engine a chance to put a little bit of heat into the engine oil. I don't believe it's modelled in the game but I want to treat my vehicles with uh, respect when they're cold. Last chance for fuel if I think I need it, and I really don't. Oops, took that one a little wide. Thankfully it's so quiet. It's all good. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. So what I want to do today is uh, balance my speed and my progress. So this uh, this highway has a limit of seventy five. 75 is turning the engine over a little bit too quickly, at least if I want to make efficient progress. So 65 miles an hour is just under 1500 revs, and that's still a reasonable engine speed for economy. 70, yeah, that's a little bit quicker and starts to make a difference to mileage. And if I've got time, I don't need to be herring along at 70, 75 miles an hour. 65 is much more comfortable for the truck. Um, 55 is not too big a hazard. That works as well. Get yeah, great mileage. I'm trying to treat ATS as though this were a real business. My fuel prices are that high that those extra one, one and a half, two miles per gallon makes a big difference to uh, how much money I make. Yeah, and I've got 10 hour drive is estimating and 13 hours to get there. Um, and I have 14 hours left in the trip, so I, I can afford to certainly cruise less than 75. Limit's now 65, that's probably what I'm going to aim for for most of the trip. So I have a comfortable feeling about managing to balance everything here. This is future David here, just doing a voiceover on this particular stretch. Not much happened. I moderated my speed a little bit, 65, and then dropped it to 55. I love the transition between early morning through to daytime and how the, the, the lights change. Um, it is a, a very pretty day, but uh, anyway, sit back and enjoy this uh, fast track through part of America.
pretty happy with the trip so far. Let's just check on my progress. So let me see. Uh, three hours left to go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm able to cruise at 55. Not a problem. And it's not that much traffic behind me, so I'm good with that. Right, we're just around the corner from our destination, give or take. Uh, I think it's maybe the second intersection away. That might be the first. So, got to say, I, I, I know I've said this a few times in the trip. I'm likely to edit the thing out. The truck's done fine. Uh, it's a low-powered machine. It's a moderately heavy cargo. I got no complaints, and this looks like our Rexer. Okay, a bit more engine brake because engine brake. And then uh, we'll navigate our way through the town or the city. Should be there in a jiffy. And then all we've got to contend with is parking. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love how uh, this engine, you hear the turbo spool up when you use the engine brake. But that's one of the reasons why you need to. I only use an engine brake when you have got some temperature in your oil. I think I recognize this. We end up being in the left. Yes, we do. Okay. Let this car go through. Big lights, let's lose sir, they've gone to green. It's very satisfying in a car when the light goes to green as you approach, but when I have to choose between 18 gears, it's especially satisfying. Down this hill, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to let the speed bleed off, I think. I want to try and keep the speed under control down the hill because I bet you I'm gonna have to get right back on the power as soon as we start to go up. And I'm turning right just up here anyway. Still losing speed. I love the water towers and all the little details. All right, right turn up here, and then I'm pretty much there. I think it's a left and a right into the yard. Okay. So this certainly feels uh, like it's a, a lived-in world. You know, cars pulling up to the lights, having to wait for them, then everyone moves off. Of course, I'm tardy off the light. Keep changing gears. Turn in here. Watch out for this police officer. Oh. Oh, and... Choose a gear. Choose a gear. Oh, come on, get in gear. Okay. About the second or third time on this trip I've done that, but right in front of a police officer, no less. Oh well. It's gonna happen. Not a professional. By any stretch of the imagination. Now... It looks like I'm right opposite where I've got to stop. Look, 
the, the trailer right buried in the yard. This might be a difficult maneuver. Oh well, we'll, we'll see. Let's inch forward. I should just need to turn, check left and right. Oh, nothing so much there. That looks like it might be a dead end, so great. That helps. Again, with the choosing gears, why am I fluffing it at the very end of the trip, not at the beginning? Oh. Been playing this game for over an hour, so I guess that makes sense. Turn right. Okay, into the yard. Here we are. Kind of on time. Yeah, I'm on time. Don't worry, I'm actually early. And um, yeah. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, I forget about the length of the trailer. Okay, let's back it up then. Sorry everyone, sorry, sorry, sorry. Been driving for an hour, it's a thousand miles. Give me a break. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, now we're in. And now the fun starts. So let's just check out the spot. I have a bad for poop sticks. Yep, I gotta back it around there. And I know from experience that I cannot fit, go down that little sort of road and turn left and back it up. That will not happen. So I've got to back it up from this end. Uh -huh. I'm going to use the external, the cheap view. So I'm going to somehow maneuver it so that the trailer is, is going backwards down that little road. Which is going to be a challenge. Anyway, we'll do some left hand down. Let's then get the thing around the corner. It's so hard to judge. I find it so hard to judge. I guess I could have popped up the axles, that might help the turning circle. Alright. Now I need to try and straighten up, which is difficult. Hope everyone likes the sound of the reversing beep because it's going to be doing it for a while. Okay. Straighten it up. Wow, I seem to have done that fairly well. Okay. And then if I t turn in at the right point, I can just neatly slot it in like a professional. It will be the first time for something at least. I think this transmission's got f four reverse gears. Maybe it's got three. Um, yeah, let's just not worry about that too much right now. Let's just choose a reverse gear and stick it in there. That'll, that'll be fine. Alright, so I think I gotta start turning now. It might be a little early, but being too late is, is worse because you just hit the side and can't go anywhere then. Um, I might be too late. Let's help it along a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I clear these um, like cable things on my right, left of the screen. Yeah, I screwed that one up. Okay. If I can straight, maybe if I straighten it up. Okay, I couldn't. Oh, I'm just gonna try it. Oh, well, what's the worst that that happens, right? So I managed to pull it straight, but then from this point, do I have the space to even maneuver it back into the corner? I, I should do, I think maybe. But I, I'm terrible at judging how much space I need, so let's, uh, let's just see what happens, right? Well, I know it's spoiling the surprise, but uh, I had to shunt around backwards and forwards for several minutes because uh, that's kind of how I roll. All right, another successful trip then, give or take. Just, uh, after getting it in the spot, shut the thing down and um, let's get this cargo unloaded. And of course, let's see how well we did in, in the trip. So 
So let's see, 1,022 miles, 151 gallons, that is roughly half a tank. And that's um, what's that, just under 7 to the gallon. Yeah, not bad. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. It was quite an epic trip. I had a lot of fun doing it, getting to grips with the C10 and lots and lots of gears. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. You know what to do if you didn't. You can subscribe for more, but you know what? Most of all, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.